everyone, welcome back. This is a video update of the master bedroom closet. I just want to show how nice the floors turned out. This room's pretty clean. Not really any debris in here to mess with anything. As you can see, it turned out fantastic. Still needs the baseboard and trim installed and everything like that, but by and large, this, this closet, this room is almost done. A uh, door handle on the door and the trim around the floor, and then this room would be effectively ready to be used as an actual closet. A little touch up on the paint. Coming out of the, uh, the closet back here, you can see, still working the floors. Lots of tile work over here, staged out. The leftover flooring material. A little microwave for the crew to have lunch, because you know, that's good to have. Might as well just do a quick walkthrough while I'm out here. Over here, see we got cloths protecting the floor, which is really nice. Over here, in the bathroom, the guest bath upstairs, the tile has been crowded, which is really nice. I think that's new since the last time I took a video. It's been completely cut and installed and grouted. And then in here, in the shower, they have the floor. Sorry about that, let me turn the light on. The floor tile are laid, but not grouted yet. I can see that the nice, you know, curved bench has been installed here in the wall. All one piece, very nice work. And as you can see, this is the ledge that will go at the bottom of the niche that will be set for shampoo over on the wall on the side. I'll show you where that goes right now. It goes right here on the bottom of the shampoo niche right there. Which is convenient, you know? It's a nice spot set away from the, uh, the control valves and everything. So again, down here in the floor in the drains, using linear shower drain. You can see the small offcuts of tile that are down there are actually the tile pieces that will go back in to fill in the cover. So when the cover is uh, installed, it'll actually almost disappear. You, you pretty much won't know there's a drain there, which should be a pretty cool effect when it's done. All right, continuing the video update, let's leave the guest room shower upstairs. Coming over here, this is a brand new surprise. Let me turn the lights on so everybody can see. The stairs have been uncovered with their protective layer, a candy coated shell of a quarter inch lawn or whatever was protecting them and they have been stained to match the floor. And while it is not a 100% perfect match, it is so close for being two different species of wood, I think it turned out great. Um, it's as close as I think practically you're gonna get with mixing something like bamboo flooring and cherry treads. But they look amazing. There's some great figuring in the stairs. Each one is unique. And again, they were laminated up from different pieces, so it's it's just a beautiful look. And uh, if this looks trippy on film, yeah, it's pretty wild to watch these stairs cascade around and down. It's a, it's just really neat. This turned out great. And you can't quite see what's around the corner, which I just absolutely love. It's sort of inviting and makes you want to walk up and down the stairs. Anywho, enough with the stairs. We're gonna continue upstairs. And just walk around a little bit more. As you can see, more progress. Floors all seem to be done, looking pretty good. Needs baseboards, a little cleanup, nothing crazy. Then over in here in the office, again, I think I've shown a video of this recently, but this turned out really good. It's the only room where if you're looking at the floor, the floor is parallel with the windows. So in this room, when you walk in here and look, if you're, if you're looking this way, the horizontal line on the floor kind of accentuates, look out the window at the view. And pardon the two little trees that are placed out there, I'm kind of dabbling with some placement. I haven't actually put them in the ground. Um, or if you happen to be looking out the window from this vantage point, the main view of the house, again, the horizontal runs on the floor, make your eye kind of follow the horizontal line at the windows, make you want to look out at the nice, beautiful view, which is practically why I bought this place. But an interesting side note or effect is because they're parallel with the center point of the house, or perpendicular rather, with the center point of the house right here, as you can see. Right in front of me, where that pillar is between the two windows, that's the center point of the house, and the floor runs perpendicular to that. All the floors are run in a continuous pattern, which means as you walk in this way, for instance, to somewhere like the quote-unquote kids' room, I say that for those on camera who don't know, I don't have any children, but this is sort of designed as if it was a kids' room. The floor being parallel actually, because the house is curved, has this weird effect where it looks like it's run on an angle. 
But the neat thing is the angle brings you to look like right up and out the windows, which is kind of nice because it draws your eye to that corner of the room, which is actually where the bed will be over here in the corner. And again, taking your eye to the nice view out of the windows, which will look pretty good when all the uh, stone fruit orchard outside matures and the great finds out there on the posts come in. I still have to run the wire for that. I might do that today. And yeah, so that's what this room looks like. Pretty good sized room. If you hear a little bit of a whooshing noise or an air noise, that's the high velocity air system right now, which is cooling off the house. It's, uh, it's a little warm. It was about 72 in here and it's set to cool it down to 70. Not strictly necessary, but I'm trying to run the machine a fair bit just to get a sense for what the energy usage looks like. In this room, again, floors are all run again in the same direction. Nothing's changed in terms of how they were laid, but they instantly bring your eye right up to the windows and right out to look at the, the trees outside and things like that. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful effect. Very inviting. Over here, in the last, uh, the guest suite bathroom, let me turn the light on. You can see the floor has been tiled. And new and exciting for me because I've never even seen it before just now. Here's the continuous ledge, which as you can see, it's wood throughout the house along the living room, or sort of the common areas, the bedrooms, things like that. But as soon as you transition into this bathroom where it's a wet room, you can see it's made out of this nice quartz material. Right there, you can see there's a little seam, a little seam over there in the corner, and a nice long, long transition piece coming over here. And I had them do a nice detail with the waterfall edge or the infinity edge, you know, blended right in the corner where you can't even tell that it was there. So that's pretty neat. That ledge looks great. Same tile treatment that you've seen in the rest of the house will be installed in here. And there's a great big long six foot linear drain, which will come right here. And that's kind of what this bathroom will look like. So. Right here will be floor to ceiling glass, not quite ceiling, it'll be a gap at the top to let humidity out because of the way the ventilation system in this room works. And then over here in the corner, as you can see, is the uh, fixture for the commode. And then to the left, when you walk in, will be the vanity that was custom made to match all the other vanities that will be put in the bathrooms. The same person who did my kitchen cabinets made all the vanities for the bathrooms. And I believe the plan as of now is to use the same material that I used on the ledge for the countertops for the vanities once those come in. It's really cool. There's some neat natural kind of figuring. Um, it's not really marble, I wouldn't say. It's more of like a natural blotchiness to the pattern here. And it's, it's just really kind of neat to look at. It's got just enough interest where it's not totally dull and boring. And I think it's a reasonably good match for the floor given that they're different materials. So. A lot, of, a lot of shopping around for that, but I think it turned out pretty good. It's not exactly the same, but the little bit of contrast is nice. And I will say, looking along this ledge, I love the transition from the stone ledge and the wet rooms to the wooden ledge and the dry rooms. Anyway, I hope you guys think that detail is really cool. I, I made a big deal about it, but it was something I thought long and hard about, and I think just really accentuates the curvature of the house, and it's just kind of a nice touch. Anyway, that's your update tour for the upstairs for today.